During the 16th century, the Reformation had been dividing the Holy Roman Empire, and although the Lutherans had been officially recognized in 1555, the many Calvinist rulers and their citizens were not. So the resulting tensions caused Protestants and Catholic states to form alliances. Plus, foreign powers had a vested interest in these developments. The French were encircled by Spanish and Austrian Habsburgs and sought to weaken them. The Spanish hoped to retake their Dutch provinces and maintain military access along the Spanish road, and the Protestant Scandinavian countries looked to expand their influence in northern Germany. Germany. But the immediate cause of the war can be found in Bohemia. Holy Roman Emperor Matthias died and had no heirs, so along with the Bohemian Diet elected the Catholic Ferdinand to take the throne of Hungary and Bohemia. Fearing they would lose their religious rights and preferring Frederick V of the Palatinate, Bohemian Protestants threw the representatives of Ferdinand out of the palace windows, which started the Bohemian Revolt in 1618. The rebellion was initially quite successful and soon spread to Transylvania, but besides from limited support from the Ottoman Empire, who declared war on the Habsburg ally Poland, the rebels' only real ally was Frederick of the Palatinate. So, as the rebels had little international support, Ferdinand, now the Holy Roman Emperor, was able to reclaim Bohemia after crushing the rebels at the Battle of White Mountain in 1620. The Palatinate was now left by itself, so Spanish troops invading from the lowlands easily overwhelmed them in 1622, forcing Frederick to flee while his lands were confiscated. Side note, all the turmoil, as well as famine and crop failures during the war, saw a resurgence of witch hunts. But back to the war. Christian IV of Denmark was worried that his role as the champion of Protestantism was challenged when Gustavus Adolphus of Sweden declared war on the Polish. So, in 1625, he reignited the war to turn back the Catholic gains. However, the Habsburg forces under the generals Tilly and Wallenstein quickly routed the Danes and drove them back into Jutland. Plus, domestic problems in France and England prevented them from sending help to the Danes. So the Danes had to admit defeat in 1629, but the Protestants got a new champion a year later, King Gustavus Adolphus of Sweden. In fact, he had been involved in the war for a couple of years, after he sent troops to help the besieged Protestants in Stralsund, a town in northern Germany. The Swedes started the campaign successfully as they won many of the initial encounters. However, during the Battle of Lutzen in 1632, King Adolphus was killed in battle. The Holy Roman Empire would also suffer the loss of their two great commanders, Tilly and Wallenstein, during this phase of the fighting. Nevertheless, the war continued for another three years, and, as was common throughout the war, the German states were devastated. It's estimated that by the end of the war, over a third of the German population was killed, thanks in part to the brutality of the mercenary armies. Therefore, war exhaustion was high within the Holy Roman Empire. So, in 1635, the Protestant and Catholic member states agreed to make peace and end the internal fighting. But the French feared the authority given to the Habsburgs over the Empire member states. Notably, member states could now no longer make foreign alliances, and an imperial army was to be created. So, Catholic France formed an alliance with Protestant Sweden and joined in this now political war. The Swedes occupied northern Germany and moved as far south as Prague, and the French took Alsace and Flanders. Meanwhile, the French also helped to start separatist rebellions in Spanish Catalonia in 1640. Elsewhere, the Habsburgs managed to gain the support of their old rival, Denmark, who looked to contain their neighbour, Sweden. And the French and the Swedes continued to be backed by Protestant states like the Dutch provinces and Brandenburg Prussia. But this was largely inconsequential. Both sides tried to make peace for a few years, and it wasn't until the death of Cardinal Richelieu, the chief minister of France, in 1648 that it was able to be achieved. However, both Sweden and Denmark and France and Spain would continue fighting for a few more years. The Peace of Westphalia in 1648 ended the last great religious war in Europe, and is one of the most important treaties of history. It established the idea of territorial integrity, and along with the move from mercenary to professional armies, this helped form the modern-day nation-states. It also greatly upset the balance of power within Europe. Nations like Sweden and Brandenburg Prussia, who split Pomerania between them, became emergent great powers. Plus, Bourbon France expanded its borders east and became the dominant land force in Europe. The Swiss had their independence guaranteed, and the Spanish would have to recognize Dutch independence. On the other hand, the declining Spanish would go on to lose more land to the French and face rebellions in Portugal. Plus, the Holy Roman Empire finally had to recognize Calvinism and grant the states more freedom. This ultimately weakened the empire and would later encourage the Ottomans to attack Vienna. 